Okay, in this video I'll show you how to create some Italian time bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. Okay, this is the initial screen. I click Create New Bingo Card Project, and I have a choice of what kind of bingo cards I'd like to create. So I can choose blank, I can choose alphabet, I can choose numbers, I can choose um, events like birthdays, bridal showers, baby showers, holidays, Christmas, New Year, Halloween, and so forth. Or um, I can choose school subjects, English, geography, history, reading, science. But if I go across here, I'll be able to choose time. And if I scroll down, I can actually find times in 12 hour clock, easy and hard, and in 24 hours o'clock, easy and hard. So I'd select the one I want, and um, then either um, double click on it or click on it, and then um, click OK. So I'll click the 12 hour clock as just as an example, click OK. And here are the times, and um, you'll see in this easy example they go up in 15 minute intervals. Um, I can delete times I don't want, so for example if I uh, don't want uh, 5.45 I can simply delete it and I can add new times, so let's add one at, uh, in between, let's add one at 6.40, 20 to 7. Uh, now it will appear at the bottom of the list here. Uh, but I can uh, resort the items if I want, or I can move that individual item up as well um, by uh, using these options here, sort, move item up, move item down, that's the select item, I can move it up, change the order of the items. So that only affects this preview window here, it doesn't affect the actual um, bingo cards, because when I print the real bingo cards, the items will be shuffled into a random order, so I'll leave that as it is for now. Um, okay, I can also change the... Um, uh, size of the bingo card, I can create a 3x3 three three bingo card, 4x4, four 5x5 four, five five, which is what I started with, 6x6, six six. Uh, I've got enough items to fill out 6x6, six six. I've actually got just about enough items in the free space to fill a 7x7 seven seven bingo card with free space in the middle. Uh, but we'll use 5x5 five five for the demonstration purposes. Uh, I can also change the heading, so for example I can turn it on or off, I can change what it might say, I could change it to say times. Um, I can change whether or not there's a free space in the middle and what that free space will say as well, but I'll leave that as it is. I can also change the colors and fonts using the formatting menu. Um, we'll just change the squares to be um, a black and white checkerboard pattern, so we'll make it um, black to background on some of the squares with white, and white with black, and we'll leave the free space as it is, and we'll change the heading. Let's make that a nice uh, colorful red and yellow, just so you can see an example. Click OK, and uh, there's my checkerboard of the times, um, and uh, I'm now ready to print. So let's have a look at the options that affect the printing. First option here is print a call list, that's basically the list of items from this window in a random order. You can use that as a bingo caller, but it gives you a printed, ready-to-use reference that you can use straight away. Um, it's very handy if you're using these bingo cards in a classroom situation to have a piece of paper to refer to. But uh, you don't have to have it if you don't want. Just simply uncheck the option if you don't want a call list. Uh, and the software does include a feature for selecting items at random during the game um, as a bingo caller, which you can use as an alternative to the call list. But I'll leave the call list on for now so you can see what the printed call list would look like. Second uh, option here that is quite interesting is called print the number of bingo cards per page, uh, which affects the number of bingo cards you get on each piece of paper when you print it out. Um, if I put more bingo cards on each page, bingo cards will be, each individual bingo card will be smaller, uh, but if I'm printing a lot, provided I'm prepared to cut the paper up to give one bingo card to each player, I could save paper uh, using more than one per page. But we'll stick to one, so that you can see on screen what they look like quite easily. Um, and also, how many bingo cards do I want to print in total? Every bingo card, as I say, will contain a different random arrangement of the items from this window, in this case, the times. Um, and I can put in 1, or 10, or 100, or 1,000, and it will generate those many unique bingo cards, uh, basically instantly, as you'll see in a moment. So let's put in 100, just as an example. Now we're ready to do print, uh, but I will actually do, instead of doing print, I'll do print preview. And here is the call list on the first page. That's a list of um, items, or times in this case, in random order. Um, I'll zoom out so you can see the whole page, and then move to the next page, which is the first actual bingo card. There we are with the um, 
times and if I do next page you'll see the next finger card is different the next one is different and 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 so on now each bingo card is a different combination of the items in different random order so that's basically the main feature of the software I did mention the one other thing is this option to let the software choose items from a bingo caller during the game I can do that by simply doing uh, call game here and it will choose one item at random display it large here and it will show my previous item so when I click next which is another one at random and it will show that 12 was the previous item 245 and then the previous item was 745 and then 12 3 and then the previous item was 2, 2 and so on and uh, that's basically it if you go to bingocardprinter.com you can download a free trial version of the software try it out see how you like it hopefully you will like it and if you do like it you can upgrade by registering uh, for the full version of the software uh, so go to bingocardprinter.com, download the trial version, try it out. It works on all recent versions of Windows. Hopefully you will like the software. Thank you very much.